Hello and welcome back to the channel and our NCAA Football 2003 Rivalry Series. I know it's been a while guys, this is episode 9. Today we've got the Cal Golden Bears taking on the Stanford Cardinal. And Stanford leads this series 49-37 right now with 10 ties. The winner of this game, also known as the Big Game, gets the Stanford Axe. The real life 2002 matchup, Cal would win that game 30 to 7 in Berkeley, California. That win would snap a seven game win streak for the Stanford Cardinal. The first ever game played in this series was in 1892, making it the oldest rivalry of the West. Most notable game in the series includes The Play, a play in which four Cal players lateral the ball five times on a kick return and scored the game winning touchdown with no time left on the clock. They also ran over a member of the band on that play in the end zone, and that game would be against John Elway at quarterback for the Cardinal, and that would actually stop him from getting to his first ever bowl game as their quarterback. That is gonna do it for the information. I'm gonna let you guys take a look at the rest of the completely modified rosters with real names of the players. And I will see you guys down on the field after Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet make their predictions. Stadium, a.k.a. The Farm in Palo Alto, California. And there's a little chill in the air for today's game between the California Golden Bears and the Cardinal of Stanford. And here comes the Cardinal. Hi folks, Brad Nessler here. And with me as always, Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. What we've got for you today is one of college football's richest rivalries. The annual battle for the Stanford Axe. The Cardinals are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. Yeah, unfortunately, this one won't be much of a contest. Stanford will win this football game on the legs of their running back. He's got that rare combination of power and speed. Look for the offensive line to overpower him up front, and he'll have a big game running the football. Forget about it. California is not going to be able to slow down this rushing attack, and I'm going to tell you why. That defensive line is going to get dominated up front, Kirk, and they're going to lose this one big. Thanks, guys. Let's take it down to the field and get ready for the game. So all the guys predict Stanford winning this one big with the ground game. They're going to take the ground game over the passing attack of Cal, led by Kyle Bowler at quarterback. Here's Nambi Asamoa on the return. He'll get it up past the 20-yard line. Kyle Bowler over the middle to Dotsy. Nice eight yard reception. Second and two, Bowler to the air again. And he is sacked and fumbles the football. Luckily, his offensive lineman falls on it. 
third and seven. Bowler's got to go to the air again. He's going to roll out, and he tried to hit Igber over the middle, and he drops it. Stanford on offense now. Carry Carter with a nice six-yard carry off the right tackle. Second and four. Draw play to Carter up the middle. First down. Nice juke up to the 48-yard line. They're going ground game heavy to start off, and Carter picks up six or seven more yards. He's got 20 already. Lewis looking to throw it now, evades the defensive end. He's got the first down and more past the 30, down to the 27-yard line. Great run from the quarterback. It's been 10, big fullback up the middle, and he'll pick up five yards. Looked like he was going to be stuffed. Second and five, Lewis pump fakes, goes to the end zone, back corner, and that is brought down by Wells for the touchdown. And Stanford takes the early lead, 7-0. Bowler going play action, going right side, and that is caught by Toller at the 48-yard line. First down, Golden Bears. Or to Igber, stuffed. Didn't get past the line of scrimmage, and the running game is not working so far for Cal. Second and 11. Bowler taking off, and he's going to break a tackle here and pick up the first down. A nice 12 or 13-yard carry for Kyle Bowler. Second and 10 now after an incompletion. Bowler pressured and dropped again. This is a loss of four. And that was Silva on the sack. Third and 13. Bowler pressured once again. Throws it over the middle to Toller, who sneaks through there and picks up the first down. Second and 10 option play from Bowler. And he'll pitch it out late. Nice spin move by Igber. And he's going to juke and get down to the 13 yard line. First and 10, Bowler pressured, throws it wide open as Ward at the one yard line. The defender whiffed on the pass deflection attempt. And Igber will punch it in for the touchdown to tie this ball game up at seven apiece. Lewis on the speed option right side here. A lot of space, pitches it out to Carter. Nice spin move past midfield, past the 45 down and out of bounds at the 43 yard line. He's averaging 11 and a half yards per carry on four attempts. They'll give it to him on a toss play here. He tries to cut it back to the right and loses two yards. Great stop by the defensive end. Play action from Lewis here. Stays in the pocket, finds Wells across the middle for a nice eight or nine yard pickup. Third and two, Carter, nice space. Great blocking to open up a huge gap for Carter to squeeze through. He now has 58 yards on six carries. Lewis going with the option again. Carter has it. He might have the edge here and gets chased down at the three-yard line. It's up to 76 yards on the ground now. Second and goal. Carter walks into the end zone to give the Cardinal the 14-7 lead. With just under a minute to go here in the first half. Bowler is sacked once again. And Cal is struggling to pass block and run the ball. Bowler rolling out right side all day. Throws it out deep, wide open as Igber, the halfback, down to the 45-yard line of Stanford. Great throw from Kyle Bowler. He's 5 of 8 for 90 yards, and he's got to hurry up here. Just 21 seconds to go. Igber in motion to the left side. Bowler pressured immediately, rolling out left side, and he's not going to get much out of this. Maybe six or seven yards. They have to call a timeout. There's nine seconds to go. Bowler pressured again. He's got the first down, but there is a flag for holding on Jones. I believe that is the right guard. Bowler going to take a shot here to the end zone, and he can't quite get it there. Only to the 10, and it hits the ground. Stanford has the halftime lead, 14-7 to over Cal in the game. Pretty even as, as it comes to yards. 134 for Stanford, 114 for Cal. Two total opposites. Cal seems to want to throw the ball all game, while Stanford is content just running it. And here's a good return by Carter up the middle on the kick return up past the 40-yard line. Lewis going to chuck one up here. Powell wide open. A lot of space in front of him. Nice juke, but does not fool the defender. And gets it up to midfield. Lewis pitches it out to Carter on the option, and this play is not going to go anywhere, but Carter somehow gets seven or eight yards out of it with a great spin move. Second and three. Lewis 
over the middle, wide open as well. It's great one-handed catch, still going, breaking a tackle up to the 27. Cal looking to extend their lead to two touchdowns here. As Lewis rolls out, throws over the middle, Powell gets again, and that is a, about a 10-yard reception. Third and one, Carter will get the first down, but it was close. Nice tackle by the defensive tackle. Lewis to the end zone, and Johnson comes down with a jump ball and double coverage. Stanford now has the 21-7 lead over Cal. Here at the farm, Stanford Stadium. Bowler rolling out, pressured again, diving forward for some extra yards to the 35-yard line. Second and three. Bowler taking a shot down the field to Dotsie, and he comes down with it at the 38-yard line. Great catch for the tight end. Play action from Bowler. Pressured immediately and dropped for an eight-yard loss. That is the third sack of the game for the Cardinal defense. Bowler taking a shot deep right side, and that is caught by Toller inside the 10-yard line. Down at the eight. What a great pass and catch. Third and goal, 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Bowler rolling out right side. Nobody's getting open. He throws back to the middle, and Toller comes down with it, but he's at the two-yard line. Cal sends on the field goal unit. And the kick from Jensen is up, and it is good. Stanford has a 21-10 lead now after a 69-yard drive results in a field goal. Carry Carter, nice four-yard carry, and that'll end the third quarter. Stanford on top, 21 to 10 over their rivals. Second and five, high snap for Wells. He's pressured, evades the defensive end, but not for long. He finally catches up to him and sacks him for a loss of two yards. Third and eight for the Cardinal. Lewis rolling right, hit as he throws, and then is caught and dropped by Siebes. Correct me on that pronunciation if I'm wrong. Cal takes back over. Kyle Bowler needs to get something going quick. Man wide open at the 40, and he comes down with it inside the 40-yard line at the 38. Huge pass from Kyle Bowler. Play action. Bowler rolling right, and that is Crenshaw wide open. He'll have the first down up to the 21-yard line and out of bounds. Haven't really tested the left side of the field today. Over 100 passing on the middle and the right side of the field, though. Here's a pass to the left as Ward gets a first down reception. Four consecutive completions for Bowler, but he is pressured here. Breaks a tackle and actually picks up seven yards somehow. Second and three. Bowler dropped again. He got popped on that play by Bergeron, his second sack of the game. Third and eight, wide open over the middle. Crenshaw for the touchdown. And they are now within four points, or five points, excuse me. They're going to go for two points here to make it a field goal game. Different quarterback in the game. It's Robertson, the scrambler. And he's going to take off, and he will get the two-point conversion. After an 81-yard touchdown drive, here's Carter on a toss play for the Cardinal. Spin move does not work this time. Closing in on 100 yards, he's got 95. Second and seven. Carter stuffed in the middle of the field. Minute and a half to go. Cal needs a stop here. This game is over. Carter gets the toss. Jukes breaks the tackle and gets back to the line of scrimmage. Great effort from Kerry Carter, but it was not enough. Cal gets a shot here. They could either tie it or they could win it. Bowler is sacked again, losing two or three yards on the left side. That was Bennett. Bowler rolling out right side. Pressured. Hit as he throws. And that is caught by the halfback, Igber for the big first down of the 48-yard line. Less than a minute left. Bowler going to take off again up the middle. Dives forward for an eight-yard carry. Second down. Bowler rolling out right side, chucking it inside the 10-yard line, and Crenshaw can't come down with it. He drops the pass, and it was almost intercepted. Third and one. Bowler takes off, and he'll get the first down. And Cal needs to hurry here, just 20 seconds to go. Bowler was actually injured on that play. So Robertson comes in, throws it up deep, and MacArthur drops the pass. Kyle Bowler gets player of the game, 13 of 20, over 200 yards. And Robertson gets sacked here, 10 seconds to go. Cal calls the timeout. 
It's third and 13. They need a big play to get in field goal range. And Robertson's going to take off. There's nobody on the right side of the field. And he runs the defender over out of bounds at the 25. And they send on Jensen and the field goal unit. The kick is up. And it is just barely over the crossbar. And Cal will tie this game up at 21 as time expires. And we're going to overtime. Ugenti, the fullback, gets a carry. Two-yard pickup. This is the second overtime game in series history. The last was in 2000. Toller with a nice catch inside the 10-yard line, down to the 6. He goes over 100 yards receiving for the day. Igberg gets into the end zone for the Cal touchdown. They take the lead here in the first overtime. Stanford, of course, gets a chance to tie it up. Lewis, quarterback, sweep. And he'll get the first down, a nice 11 or 12 yard carry for the shifty quarterback. Draw play to carry Carter. Jukes picks up four yards off the right side. He's over 100 yards rushing for the day. Lewis gonna take off. No, he's gonna throw it to Wells who was wide open in the middle for the touchdown for the Stanford Cardinal. They tie the ball game up and now they have another shot here to take the lead and then hope their defense can hold off the Bears. Nice juke there from Moore, the fullback. He'll pick up eight yards. Nice block by Kerry Carter. Second and two. Lewis going to throw it out of the goal line formation to the end zone. Caught by Wells. He brings it down for the go-ahead touchdown. And now their defense has to step up if they want to win this ball game. Great throw from Wells, or from Lewis to Wells, excuse me. Bowler looking to tie it up. There's a flag on the play, and that's a touchdown reception, but it doesn't count. There's a holding call on Joyce. That'll back him up to second and 20, making this a little more difficult to tie the ball game up. Bowler taking a shot deep to the end zone. Caught, no, it is deflected away at the last second. Great play by the corner. Fourth and 20 now. Bowler taking a shot over the middle, and that pass is deflected away. And the Stanford Cardinal are going to walk out of here with the victory, 35-28. to They win the Stanford Axe in the game. It's a very exciting game. I remember growing up watching highlights of this rivalry. ESPN Classics, they always come out with great stuff. I do enjoy this series. We will have one more in this series for NCAA football 2003 and it will be oh, I'm going to show you after the stats and everything you guys will find out who will be episode number 10 this is a great game overtime victory for Stanford after Cal had that furious fourth quarter comeback to tie it up as time expired Kyle Bowler played a great game 14 of 25 285 through the air with one touchdown but he was sacked five times. He led his team in rushing with 21 yards. Igber had two touchdowns, though. Joe Crenshaw had the touchdown reception. Four tackles for a loss. Tully Bontacane right there. I don't know if you guys remember him, but he did play for the New England Patriots in the NFL. Mark Chris. Jen, uh, Jensen, 2 for 2 today. Tyler Fredrickson, 1 punt, 40 yards. Namdi Asamoa, he went on to play for the Oakland Raiders and the Philadelphia Eagles. Chris Lewis, 4 touchdown passes today for a team that really ran the ball well. 102 yards on the ground for Kerry Carter and a touchdown. Wells, 3 touchdown receptions. Unreal. Teo Johnson with a touchdown. I believe Teo Johnson went on to play for the Oakland Raiders as well as a tight end. Mike Silva had a sack today. Bunch of deflections. Gary Cobb. Force fumble for Craig Albrecht. Eric Johnson, two great punts for 105 yards. 52.5 yard average. Carrie Carter, 107 retar uh, return yards. And our final rivalry game episode will be Florida State taking on the Miami Hurricanes. 
I'm not sure when that one will be out, guys, but I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the comments section below. Take it easy, guys.